Hello, this is Don Anders, and welcome to the Florida Retirement System podcast. And the purpose of this is just to educate people on retirement. And it's myself, Don Anders. I've been working with FRS retirees uh, for over a decade now. My firm and myself, we've helped over 2,000 people retire just like you from the Florida Retirement System. And the reason I started this podcast was because we hear all the time of, hey, we really wish we had this education earlier on or before we chose our, our options, not right when we go to retire because that's when my firm works with people. So we decided to do this podcast to educate. And with me, we have Alex Dingman. Alex is a longtime friend of mine. He works uh, doing radio, doing podcasts. And you know I brought him on to help me produce this and get it out to you. But more importantly, Alex knows nothing about the Florida retirement system. So I wanted to bring him on and almost make it like he's a new employee or someone that is getting ready to retire. And my goal is going to be to educate him on your options, on the FRS options, because if I can educate him, who's starting from, you know, pretty much nothing of it from an educational standpoint with the FRS, uh, then hopefully I'll be able to educate you on it as well. So Alex... It's good to be here. I Thanks. hope I can guide you, kind of ask the questions, given the perspective that I'm going to have here of not knowing much. And then, like you said, you can be the one to educate me, Don. Hopefully we can. We'll, we'll, we'll see what we can accomplish. And by the way, this is a serial podcast. So what that means is we're not going to do a bunch of ongoing. It's going to be about 15 episodes. And if there's any updates or changes down the road, we'll, we'll go ahead and issue bonus episodes. So don't think this is going to be a two or three year commitment to listen to. Uh, 15 episodes, all, you know, not too long. So you, you could even knock these out in an afternoon. Okay. Outstanding. All right. So to start off, what I want to start off with is the difference between the pension plan and the investment plan, Alex. And what, what the pension plan and investment plan is, are the two options. So let's say you're about to start working. Okay. And what do you want to be? You want to be a teacher, a firefighter, a police officer? Firefighter. That sounds pretty cool. Fire, it's always been a dream of mine to be that cool. So let's do it for this. Yeah. For this <laughs> Where you cool. playing with the fire trucks? As yeah. Kid. Oh, you know it. Yeah. Okay. Love it. All right. So you finally get your dream to become a firefighter. You get on board and they're going to give you a packet. And in that packet, it asks, do you want to go with the pension plan or the investment plan? And I have no idea. I okay. mean, I, I can I can think in my head. I've heard these terms before. Investing, obviously, putting my money somewhere, a pension. I think that means you know money you get after you retire. But I'm not really sure what the difference is, Don. Yeah, and that's pretty accurate. So, but they both apply to the pension. So the FRS is a little unique. Not all pension plans allow people to do this, but the FRS allows you to either have a cash value, like a lump sum, or they allow you to have a monthly traditional pension there. Hmm. And so really the difference is there, there's a few factors that you want to factor in. So first off, how long do you plan on being a firefighter? Well, Lord willing, I hope to do it for, you know, maybe 30 years or so. Put oh. me around, you know, retirement age. That's perfect because the, the retirement age, the pension plan for a firefighter is right there 25, 30 years, depending on when you start. So with that being said, the pension plan might be the way to go because people are living a long time now. If you were planning on working maybe five or 10 years and then finding a different job or maybe moving states. So sometimes people go, yeah, I want to be a firefighter, but I'd really like to be a firefighter in California, hmm. you know, or I want to move. Then the nice thing about the investment plan is if you did that, you would have a cash value that you can roll over to a 403B or 457 uh, or an IRA and then let it grow. Because if you're not working, that money's not really growing. If you're in the pension plan, you have to continually be continually be working to get those raises. Well, and Don, this sounds like a lot of pressure, you know, a big decision I have to make up front, and I might think what's going to be happening in the future. I mean, is there any way to change this once I've made a decision? That's a great question. Yeah, there's a one-time change, okay? It's called a second election. And so if you, right now, if you don't pick anything, you go into the pension plan. That's as we record in 2019. There's actually they keep trying to pass it where you automatically go into the investment plan because that's actually a lot less risk because the pension plan is not liable. If you live to be 115 years old, they don't have to keep paying you out. So they're trying to make it where the investment plan is the default. But as of right now, if you don't do anything, you're going to go into the pension plan. And then you have up to you, you have up to one choice. So you can do your second election. So if you go in the pension plan, uh, and this is pretty common for people who 
you know, they'll come in at 25, 29 years of service right before they're going to retire. And then what we'll do is we'll do a complete cost analysis and we'll make sure that, okay, the pension plan is really the way you want to go. Because for some people, they would rather have control of it themselves. They'd rather have access to it, or they'd rather leave the money to their beneficiaries. So we'll switch them from the pension plan to the investment plan. Hmm. Conversely, there might be people in the investment plan and they might want to switch over to the pension. So you can do either way. Um, but so you can, you can change that one time and one time only. So, you know, the first, you get a redo from the first try, no redos from the second try. And so it seems like the investment plan maybe gives you more options, but the pension plan is the kind of thing, if you're comfortable with the fact that you you think you're going to be there for, you know, the long haul, that, that can be an option for you. Yeah. So pensions are basically for longevity. Yep. Okay. So pen, the pension plan is if you're going to be there for the long haul, if you're going to be retired for the long haul, pension plans are the way to go. Okay. Uh, if you're not going to be there long or a big thing is, you know, people come in and they're sick, you know, they have cancer, whatever it is, you want to go with the investment plan because then you can at least leave money to beneficiaries or help pay for medical bills. Or, you know, I had one lady who came in uh, and she wanted to take her money out. She didn't have any beneficiaries. She was terminally ill. She wanted to go do a few bucket list things mm. with it, which is nice. Yeah. Um, another story, just a, a quick example. So I had a, I had a client who came in and she actually came to one of my seminars and she was sitting there and it was obvious she wasn't doing well. She had a, she had a headscarf on and, mm. and was sitting there with her husband and, uh, she signed up for an appointment, came in, sat with me and, I asked her, okay, well, are you in drop? Come on, tell me about your situation. She told me about her medical situation. She's terminally ill. Um, she had been terminally ill for about three years, and she entered drop, and she chose to go with pension option one. And we're going to get to the pension options later. Sure. But basically what that meant was there was no beneficiary. And she did that because someone she worked with told her it was the higher amount, which – you know, if you're going to live a while, it is the highest amount, but if you only have a few years to live, it's not the way to go. So we're able to actually go in and use that second election post retirement using a loophole. So, you know, the reason I bring up that story is make sure that, you know, anything that you're doing is not based on what other people do. Yep. It's based on your situation because everyone's different. Yeah. And what I'm hearing from you is you don't necessarily have a preference if people go with investment or pension. I mean, you may, but really it comes down to that person's circumstances, I whatever that personal, you know, circumstance is to that individual. And that's why it's important to talk to, to someone like you. Yeah. Well, anybody who knows about the pension plan, yeah. right? A lot of times it's the blind leading the blind when it comes to, when it comes to the FRS, uh, you know, it's, hey, this person did this or this person did that, and they assume that that person made a good choice when it's not necessarily true. I love the pension plan. I love the investment plan, depending on who you are, what you plan on doing. Um, so my recommendation is sit down, think about it, pray about it, go over it with your family. And uh, you know, if you want to talk to a financial professional, you can do that as well. But make sure this is probably going to be the number one biggest financial decision you'll ever make, more than buying a house. Because hmm. the average investment plan in the state of Florida is around $700,000. So it's usually more expensive than my clients' houses. Well, as a firefighter just getting started, I appreciate <laughs> the advice now. I think I know a lot more and uh, we'll be able to make a decision now. And congratulations on your new role. I know. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Thank you, Don. Thanks, Alex. The purpose of this podcast is for educational purposes only. If you want more information, more education, please visit www.frsdrop.com. And that's our webpage where you can download more information. You can register for one of our webinars. You can even request an appointment for our team. And let me stress, this is education and information. Recommendations are for clients. They're for people that we actually meet with. And if you'd like to meet with us, we work all throughout the state of Florida. We'd love to do that. And you can also do that on that website. So once again, www.frsdrop.com. And one last thing before we go, this is a serial podcast. So meaning we're, it's going to be about 15 episodes explaining the Florida retirement system. But please make sure that you subscribe because if there's any types of updates or anything pertinent to your retirement, we're going to update it on this podcast. There might up, end up being multiple updates uh, that would be very important to you. So make sure you subscribe because then you'll get an alert that there's a new episode. 
also, if you have someone that would benefit from this, someone that you work with, someone that you know that's in the Florida retirement system, please consider sharing this with them. And please consider giving us a five-star review. Don Anders is an investment advisor representative and insurance professional, helping individuals create financial strategies using a variety of investment and insurance products to custom suit their needs and objectives. Insurance and annuity product guarantees are backed by the financial strength and claims-paying ability of the issuing insurance company. We are not affiliated with the U.S. government or any governmental agencies. Securities and advisory services offered through Madison Avenue Securities, LLC, member FINRA SIPC, and a registered investment advisor. Madison Avenue Securities and Don Anders are not affiliated companies.